No, I swear I won't be wasting your time, and I'm grateful for the opportunity ever so. Come on, then. Pleased to see Arn has his belongings back. Ranrock and his loyalists will think twice before trying that again. See if there's something you need. Theophilus Harlow should have foreseen the repercussions of associating with the likes of Victor Rookwood. That's been a pleasure. Ah, oh, nothing like being young. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Everywhere I look, 
Corruption's all I see. Beasts, goblin. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student too cowardly to do it himself. <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. He is a bit much for a caretaker. But he means well, and he's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demigod statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired to play on his name. It worked brilliantly, until you started clearing them out. It sounds as if Mr. Moon deserved what he got, but perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Take better care of her niffler from now on. Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin. About my sweet friend Mary. It seems poor Mary was breeding spiders in her home for profit, and vastly underestimated their propensity to multiply. Oh, Mary. What untoward scheme were you involved in? If she needed financial assistance, she could have just come to me. She didn't deserve this. You do. I am sorry about your friend. But you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aaron.
Vorder. No, I swear I won't be wasting your time. And I'm grateful for the opportunity ever so. Come on, then. What's Pleased to see Arn has his belongings back. Ranrock and his loyalists will think twice before trying that again. See if there's something you need. Theophilus Harlow should have foreseen the repercussions of associating with the likes of Victor Rookwood. It's been a pleasure. Ah, oh, nothing like being young. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. 
You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student. Too cowardly to do it himself. Huh. Hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. He is a bit much for a caretaker, but he means well, and he's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. It sounds as if Mr. Moon deserved what he got. But perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Take better care of her Niffler from now on. Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin, about my sweet friend Mary. It seems poor Mary was breeding spiders in her home for profit, and vastly underestimated their propensity to multiply. Oh Mary, what untoward scheme were you involved in? If she needed financial assistance, she could have just come to me. She didn't deserve this. You do. I am sorry about your friend. You'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aaron. Dearly departed Mary.
Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demiguy statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks, and we used to laugh about them! <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all! Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious! <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Give me a dozen humans to battle. I'll take them all. Likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark.
Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Time for a jaunt, I'd say. Here we go! No need to race now, my friend. Slow down now. There we go. I should investigate. I need to race now, my friend. Alohomora.
Revelio. Found the blue flames in Cragcroft. Well done. Keep an eye out for the Lord of the Shore. I shan't say more. If I'm to think of it, we've seen far worse in our years. Could do worse than pit upon. Okay. Good for you. Defend us. Somebody out there. Bombarder. Uh, Red Duck's tongue. Good for you. Flash of inspiration. Defend us. Expelling on. You've come to the wrong place, child. Potato. Super time. You weaken quickly. Good fringo. Give a bite. This is not going well for you. Defender. Good fringo. Stupid. Bombarder. Expelliarmus. Good fringo. Defender.
Your spirit guides are trying to contact you.
thank you for your persistence and cleverness. I confronted Piers about it and he confessed straight away, the old rascal. <laughs> We've agreed to let bygones be bygones. Uh, don't forget to say hello the next time you're in the Three Broomsticks. Thrilled to be back there again. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. We have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yeah! Allow me to finish the loyalty of Helga Hufflepuff, the wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw, and the ambition of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's House Cup. Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework, as a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits... Oh, I'd say... One hundred points to their house! Would you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner! <laughs>